This guy didn't even drop me at the door itself, man. That guy is trash. Let that be known. He was supposed to go drop me right there. He didn't. I ain't like that. Say, yo, go around and drop me off. Trash human beings, man. I swear. I'm almost sick. Señor, ¿dónde entra? ¿Entra aquí? No, ingresas por allá a mitad de pasillo. Gracias. No, oh, this is going to be interesting, now. I'm telling you, this is going to be interesting. Let's see what they need. Where do I even start, y'all? Okay, let's see. Where the freak does a brother even start? Okay, let me ask her. Buenos días. Sí, me gustaría ir a Manizales. ¿Está aquí o no? All right, so they don't have nothing at this moment. She told me to go make two left. We're going to see, man. This is going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. These guys? Okay. Let's see. No. Where the heck do I even buy my ticket? Right, yeah, let me let me cut this. Let me cut this. Me... Guys, I decided to get some donuts. I don't know why, but I said, yo, they look good. So I was gonna get one. I'm gonna try one of each of these donuts. I don't know. All the time. I've always ignored Colombian donuts, so I decided to try it. 
Ooh. Heck yeah. We're about to get it. Hopefully these don't seem so bad. Right? Quanto cuesta todo? Diez mil. Diez mil hasta veinte. Oh, muchas gracias. Gracias. Quest, uh, pregunta. Veo mucho la, la gente en la luz. Uh, how do you know? So, ¿cómo, cómo, 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 yeah, yeah, cómo sabe es real? Si lo miras, si ve que aquí se le ve el numerito y el muñeco. Ok. Si tú lo miras así y el muñeco se ve pintado, está falso. Ah, ok, ok. Si lo miras okay. así, se ve transparente y se ve el muñeco, está Oh, bueno. ok. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Ok, so... That's cool. I've kind of figured out what's real or what's not. And I got myself some donuts. Yo, Bank Columbia, ATM stay be packed. I like Serbi Bank Loretta. They don't take that much money from you. But Bank Columbia, they take mad money from you. Uh, there's a Dunkin' Donuts there. There's a chicken spot. Dang, this terminal is huge. But I, I'm excited about trying these donuts though. I need to find a place to sit. I ain't never had Colombian donuts. Three times I've been here, I've never had a Colombian donut. So I think, I think it's, it's, it's time. Upstairs is looking pretty fun. I think this is the end of the line. It should be. Unless there's like more to see. But this Bogota bus terminal is like really packed. Okay. And yeah. That's it, let me not get lost. Get myself ready to go. That's what it is, y'all, if I haven't explained it already. Get your ticket, get your passport with your passport. You know, take down your number. That's how you register yourself in. And yeah, it should be good. But well, somebody's moving. <laughs> Somebody is. On some facts moving. I don't know where they think they're going with that. But, uh, yeah. I am not gonna lie, that chicken's actually looking kind of appetizing. I might. I'm telling you. Let me try these donuts first. This one first. That's sweet. That's sweet. You can taste the egg in this too. So. Not bad donuts. Alright y'all, let's see. I hope I know where I'm going. Okay. Uh, Manizales. Fresno. Fresno? Senor. Okay. 
Gracias. ¿Permiso? ¿Te frente este arriba? ¿Tiene tanto? Tengo un montón ¿Qué? ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? All right, guys, we're going to talk about a topic that I've noticed not a lot of creators that do Colombian content talk about, and that's the topic of traveling throughout the country. And what best way to talk about traveling throughout the country than to travel frugally? I like to travel on a budget. That's just me. I don't got the YouTube money yet. But one of the things I like to do when I go to Colombia and I want to get from place to place is travel via bus. And throughout this video, I'm going to give my commentary. You're going to be seeing people out and about. You'll be seeing different views and different landscapes. And yeah, let's get into it. So normally you will go to a bus station that they call a terminal. And some places are divided between the north terminal and the south terminal. So normally you'll choose whichever terminal fits your basic needs because between the north and south they go, their routes are very different. So if you're going to a particular town or Puebla, you would have to choose between south or north. You know, I don't know all of the small towns, but that's generally speaking what you would have to do as a traveler. It's a lot of military here. Don't know why, but it's a lot of military. Make me think this is a spot where Carreras like to hide out. Yep, you see them? Look upon them. Look upon them. Look upon them. Three of them. Three of them. Three of them are gone. Look up. <laughs> Alright, so if you're a person that really likes to save money while they're traveling, you will be surprised to hear that some of these tickets are like as low as five US dollars, man. I know for my trips, it was like 40,000 Colombian pesos, which is about roughly like 10 at the time of this video. 10, the most I spent possibly was like 15. And if you like want more accommodation and comfortability, it's like 18. But sometimes Colombian plane tickets cost that much too. And what most people don't know is that Colombia is a country with multiple terrains and weathers. And as you're on the bus, you get to experience and see all of these various weather conditions and terrains as you're going throughout the country. For example, I'm going to show you this situation where I am in right now. Dang, can't see nothing. It's in the clouds, foggy. So if you're an adventure traveler, I definitely recommend that you go take the bus. Well, if you're an adventure traveler that's on a budget, like me, I don't got that YouTube money, so I'm going to be on a bus. <laughs> but I do enjoy the scenery and all these other places that you will never get to see that on other people's channel. So I am documenting as we go. I am pulling up the maps of the terrain that we're in, and you guys got to see what it's like just briefly. You get what I'm saying? Um, I would have to say that although it's cheaper, it takes longer to get from point A to point B. And this trip to Manizales was about eight hours. And sometimes when you're traveling eight hours, man, you don't know what's going on or what's going to happen. If the driver gets tired or you get into situations like this, you know, they overtake. I know in Jamaica, they overtake, but they overtake fast. When they overtake in Colombia, it is slow. I'm not sure if it's because everything is so hilly and uphill, but it's slow and you don't know when traffic is coming in. With that being said, you don't know what's going to happen and it could be a potential accident waiting to happen. You know, you don't know what could happen. So like another negative about this is that oftentimes if you do take these buses there are some routes that are closed off and traffic has to go like one side at a time like you would have to wait for one side to come and then like after an hour or two of that traffic coming through then you can proceed like it, it takes a long time and you don't want to be stuck 
in between certain places for two hours at a time. Some people don't have the patience for that. Like this trip in particular was an eight hour trip and it was projected to only take like four hours plus. But, you know, I had to cut out some of the fluff and somewhere in between we were just stalled and couldn't do nothing about it. So, yeah, there's that. And this bus was making stops in between cities to towns to other towns. You get what I'm saying? So I can't do anything about that. And how else are people going to travel around if these buses didn't stop to their town? Some of these towns look amazing, like this town of Honda right here. Honda. The town of Honda. That's quite fun. And you won't get to see none of these places. And I don't believe any other Colombian travel creator has done a full video of them talking about traveling throughout the other towns. This place was a pretty good look, I have to admit. Ah, it's a nice looking town. I would love to see what it looks like during the day. Uh, what's going on y'all this is nate from nate new state we are at the first rest stop because this is like an eight hour drive from bogota to manizales and man i was holding it for a minute i was really holding it for a minute I had to let out a real good one but yeah here we go this is one of the rest stops if you wanted to get something to eat i'm not going to eat anything i'm fine i'll just wait Unless I see something appetizing, I'm just going to grab and go. Uh, this is my bus. Hopefully, everything goes well. But I'm just checking to see what they got around the area. Yeah, I just, I just, ooh, they got, yeah, I don't know. Nobody seems like they're sitting and eating. So this time, I'm just, I'm just going, I'm just going to chill. But, uh, yeah, rest stop. I think three more hours to go. Three more hours to go, three or two more hours to go. No, three or four more hours to go. But, yeah, bro, I really needed to go. Oh, what a relief. But, yeah, this is the rest stop. And you'll normally see, you'll normally see a lot of these when you're on the road. Of course, because, think about it. Think of, like, um... In the states when you're driving by and you got those little pop-up restaurants on the corner of the road or pop-up pop -up, uh, gas stations or like a Dunkin' Donuts on the side of the road it's, they know they know that people travel in and out throughout this area and they also know that they also know that people's gonna want some food so this is actually like good location and one of the good rest stops for like most truckers and people that's going throughout this area see See, so I'm chilling. I don't want dinner. I'm big chilling. If anything, I'll take something to drink, but I have water. So I'm good. I'm definitely good. Let me go. Let's just see what they got. Ah, oh, it is a hotel. They got something across the street, too. Uh huh. Okay. Upstairs is the hotel, and over here is everything else. Alright, y'all. That's it. That's it. Wait. Whoa, 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 wait. Bro, where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Oh, he's just backing up. Wow, this guy's got me scared. Alright, alright. Had me scared for a second. Uh, so while we wait, uh, 
and just circle the area again because that's what else is the best i can do at this moment right right and just circle the area oh that's where it was i went into the staff bathroom and locked the door ain't that something and you cut in through there there is a whole outside area that's what's up Yeah, man. I don't need anything. I, I, I'm actually solid. Yeah. That's where bus driver is. Imagine a world where the bus driver leaves without me. That'll be interesting. Yeah, that's it. I don't. It's chilling. We chilling. We're chilling until we get to the next spot. All right. This is Nate from Nate in your state. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right. Do your boy a favor. Help me get to them likes. Help me get to them likes. All right. I mean, yeah. Help me get them likes. Help me get to them high subscriber count. All right. Don't just be giving me subs and not watching my content. That's gonna hurt my channel. All right. Give me them likes. Give me them subs. Give me them views. Give me them shares. Appreciate it, all right? All right, cool. Maybe I do want to buy. I'm probably going to buy. Nah, I ain't going to buy nothing. I'm good. I'm good. I'm gonna, I'll wait till I get to the next city. I'm good. I would definitely say that traveling like this isn't for the faint of heart as you're going to be out there on the road for a long time, especially if you're on a schedule. Yeah, there's a party going on over there. There's a whole bunch of sparks. You know how to get down. But I'm not even going to hold you. Some of these towns that I was driving by, just I felt like, yo, let me let me get off this bus for like a couple of minutes, man. Let me check it out. Check it out. Let me see what it's about, man. They're having too much fun in this little town that isn't your Medellin, that isn't your Cartagena. They got an airport. And this is stuff I don't see on other channels that me personally, I would love to see. So because I don't see it, I guess I'll bring it to y'all. Maybe you like it. No de mariquita. Mm -hmm. It's actually a nice looking town, bro. I like these. We got a cat in the street. This small town's looking mad cool. I'm not even lying. But like I said, if you are a person that is about their time, your time is precious, yeah, definitely just take a plane. It's an only an hour, probably even less. Plane will do you justice to save you time. This is if you really want to do sightseeing or if you really want to go to some of these small towns. I don't know. I know the most majority of people that's probably watching this is probably here for a few cities and towns, but for a small few that likes stuff like this, this is for y'all. And I hope y'all really do enjoy seeing stuff like this. Colombia got so much different types of weather ability going on. I could have sworn like a few meters ago, like five minutes ago, it wasn't dry on Oh look, see, it's done. It's done. It's crazy. What's going on, y'all? This is Nate from Nate in the State. And I'm in the state of Caldas yet again in the city of Manizales. This is Colombia's safest city. Uh, I'm going to meet up with Sandra. You guys remember Sandra, right? The one I actually met at the, I think it was this bus station. If you don't, you guys gotta watch the video so you guys can get a heads up on who she is. So anyway, I'm gonna meet up with Sandra right now. I'm actually crashing at her place until my Airbnb is ready for tomorrow. So yeah, if you don't know who Sandra is, you are gonna have to watch that episode that I put up. And I'm gonna post it up above, click on that link. So that way you can see the video. Alright. Camilo, llama a Martín. Agarró y se lo metió la boca la. La ca, no ya, la cámara. Qué Martín. Nate in your state.